eye guys that's the 28th model of this particular weather application we'll be talking about the touch selectors right there in the drawable we have an xml file called the touch selector xml you can find it right there in the we created that in the uh, drawable the touch selector or uh, this touch selector is for the list item that is for the uh, weather list item or we have the selector tag it has different items the first item is from the drawable color activated while the state activated is true while the state focused is false we have the another one for the background material light color the state window focus is false uh, even though these two points to the same resource they have two states so the drawable will invalidate itself when coming out of pressed state that is when we are trying to click on each item that's the touch selector it's quite different from ripple the ripple effect of the material design but uh, once you touch you notice a full uh, selector to covering that particular list item you, you, you pressed on so we have the drawable which is the ABC list selector all light all these drawable are found in the drawable uh, folder so the state enabled for state focus true state pressed true we have for the uh selector all light that just uh followed the same but they do different uh effects this time is where well, the state enable is forced by the state focus is true so it does it doesn't have a state pressed uh, this one has a state focused with the state pressed. Uh, this is also a state focused, which is false. A state pressed true. Uh, a state focus of true, just like that. We have the hanging, just hanging out state. This is part of the action bar compact. There is a drawable calling the background material light. <coughs> okay. Uh, we have all these in the drawable folder. Where you can actually access them let's look at the focus list item xml so how we're going to integrate the touch selector into the list item which we have the focus list item xml right the layout folder now you're going to use the touch selector as the background for the list item that's what that is doing so when you see the android background we're calling on the drawable the touch selector xml can you see that that's quite straightforward so, so it's going to be using this as the background that's the background of the item list. so a touch on it will review what is actually on the background that's the idea behind uh this touch selector animation let's look at the today touch selector xml we're going to create a touch selector called the today touch selector uh for the today list item layout whereby we find out in the drawable we have the touch selector xml that the today touch selector xml rather uh these have a selector tag the drawable is calling the color color primary dark which is the blue and the state press true the other drawable is the primary dark as well but the stick activated this time is true the same primary dark the state selected true you can see those different uh, uh selected uh, position you know, state pressed true state activated and state selected uh we have the drawable which is the color primary as the last item in this uh selector afterwards we look at the list item focus today xml we need to integrate that to uh, the selector into the list item forecast for the today xml so you're going to replace the background color of the today list item with the today touch selector xml i've just mentioned so we we'll get to figure out the background the android background look at it you replace it with a drawable which is the today touch selector that's the xml i just explained so that will serve as the background of this particular uh, list item 
the, which is for the forecast that's the today forecast list item so that's the change we need to do so this is